said that's got to be at least an inch thick. So this is a bedroom slash condo all in one. Downstairs on this level, you've got your, your sofa settees, you've got your TV, you've got your bathroom over here with your shower. It's really nice. But upstairs is where it really shines. It's like, it's like a tree house. So upstairs here, you've got your wardrobe in the corner, you've got your bed here, and you've got two chairs over here. It's great. I mean, whether you've got children or not, or even adults like me, we're all children at heart. What a great idea to integrate into a house. So in the main wing area, we have two floors. First floor where you have three bedrooms here, and second floor you have another three bedrooms. So each of the floor you have this nice family area here. All the rooms come with your own attached bathroom, wardrobe size, and your own study area where you can put study table and lounge chair. So look at the size of the room, look at the ceiling design. And one thing that I love about this master room the most is this balcony area that leads you to a beautiful view of the outdoor courtyard. And one more thing that I'd like to show you is the master bathroom. Come. So once you enter in the master bathroom, you have this beautiful black tiles flooring. And here, you have two Italian column design and these three arch window design and a beautiful jacuzzi here. Just imagine coming back home from work, enjoying the rest of the day here in this jacuzzi bath. Now we are at the second floor area and here's an interesting room which is the tea room area where you can enjoy your tea, your breakfast tea here. And here is a very practical space where you can use as gallery. Okay, or this, if you have children in your house, this is a great space for the children to play around. And what I love about this space is there's double balcony space here. Balcony space with red terracotta tiles with a view of the golf. Okay, Peter, before we move over to the annex block, right. let's talk a little bit about the breakdown of the rooms. Because when you've got 18 bedrooms, 21 bathrooms, it's really, it's, it's a lot to take in. Right. So as I said just now, um, Greg, there are two wings in the house, the annex and the main wing of the house. Right. So in these main wings, we have 10 bedrooms, two at the ground floor level, two at the lower ground area, right. three at first floor and three at the second floor oh. area. And another four, at the annex area, which we are going to see later. Right, that is, that is a lot. That's 14. Yeah, that's 14. So where's right. the rest of the rooms? Well, another four rooms is three main rooms, all come with attached bathroom and their own wardrobe area. Well, if you have this size of the house, how many maids do you need? Oh, you need right. a few. Yeah, you need a few, right? <laughs> and another one more, which the owner is very considerate, is a driver room for the driver. Mm. And it also comes with attached bathroom as well. God, everyone is looked after, aren't they? Right, right. And one thing that is very well planned in this house is every floor you have a family area like this. Isn't this amazing? I like it. Lots of yeah. natural light coming in. You've got the trees outside there. Right. Lovely. Right, now shall we move to the annex? Let's go. We have checked out the main wing of the house and now we are going to the annex part of the house. In Spanish, we call this guest casitas area, which is guest house. And this is the size of the semi -deal. Inside is beauty. Now, let's go. One thing I love about uh, next is you have your own entrance. Now, Greg, please show us around the ground floor. So this is the annex block. It's a lot bigger, it's like a TARDIS. It's a lot bigger than it looks. And what I personally love is an amazing place you can have cocktails out here. You could even probably jump in the pool. On this side, you've got a veranda with a table and chairs where you can sit down also and have drinks with friends. But what anchors the ground floor is the kitchen. It's informal, but it's got all the amenities you could possibly need and a convention hob on the top here. Now, Peter, show us the amazing lounge upstairs on level one. Sure, now let's move to the living. So the ground floor is where you can host your guests for good food and here is where your family can spend a cozy time with nice natural light coming in from all the tall windows there and all this modern setting kind of furnishing. You have this nice formal living area here and here is where you have a TV area. From the living area, here is where it leads you to the three bedroom. So you have this door to close up if you want some privacy, if you are hosting a guest here. And here you have room number one, two, and three. So this room comes with its own attached bathroom and these two rooms share one bathroom. Now, let's move to the master bedroom. So the whole second floor is the master bedroom area. Here is where you can have your working table, your lounge area to display your collection, a king size bed, and as you wake up in the morning, you have this beautiful balcony with a view of the golf. 
and the swimming pool. Now, Greg, what's in the master bath? Me. Where are you? <laughs> I'm actually in the bath. Okay, so what I love about this bathroom and the rubber duckies is it's a great play on marble, the grey and the white. It's a beautiful kind of interlace. Plus, over here you've got your twin basins, which is a nice touch as well. And to make life really easy, you've got your walk-in wardrobe on both sides. So it could be his on the left and hers on the right. But and that's what I really like about the master bedroom here. It's up nice and high, got fantastic views over Tropicana Golf Club as well, and your pool below. Oh, well, isn't this a nice house? Where's Greg? He's here. I'm coming. Hey, down. Greg, are you done with the annex? Just finished, my friend. Come in. Come. Wow, that was an experience. I can tell you that for free. Well, this is the first time that we were shot that come with such an architecture and design and such oh, an yeah. interior. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, right? 100%. Right. Loved it. So, I was just thinking to myself, wrapping up in the annex there, who is this house perfect for? Well, I would say this house is perfect for a family who love to live in three generations. Mm. And the children can have their own space here. And this is where they have another of their own living space with two or three families together in one. Or a family who love to host their guests because this can be served perfectly as a guest house as well. Absolutely. Right. And those who love gathering and parties, this is a perfect spot for you. What do you think? You've nailed it. Absolutely. Multi-generational living. So, right. for example, you've got your main building which we spent a lot of time in right okay you've got your self-contained unit downstairs the apartment right and you've got your annex over here right what more could you ask for yeah and the greatest thing is this house is for it's for sale <laughs> I love it when they're for sale Peter right <laughs> but that's all about this house we can only show you this much because it's so huge okay if you'd like to view the real house click the link below and we would like to tour you around we can't wait. Thanks, Peter. It was an absolute pleasure. And it's good seeing you again. Good to see you.